Hey there on today's video is going to be a favorites video and I haven't done a favorites video for a few months so I decided to actually do one today. Um, you might be able to hear with my voice that I am still a little bit sick. Um, if you follow me on Instagram you probably already know that by now but I'm gonna get right into this and starting off the first category of eyes. I have been loving the Tarte Amazonian clay palette. This came in one of the Christmas gift sets, I think the Bon Voyage gift set. My mother got me that for Christmas and I thought it was pretty freaking cool. But this is kind of like a go-to palette for if I'm feeling uninspired or I have to go really quickly somewhere. Which has really come in handy lately because I've worked out quite a few basic looks that don't take very long with this palette and my daughter started school recently and you know I don't exactly want to be looking a hot mess in front of all the other parents so it definitely comes in handy especially if I haven't got as much time to apply makeup. Next up in the lips category is a reasonably new product to the market and I think everyone's talking about this. This is the Jeffree Star Liquid Velour Lipstick and I got this in the color I'm Royalty. I was going to get Red Rum as well but they sold out so incredibly quickly of that. This is one of the most gorgeous shades of purple I've ever seen in my life and especially for lips. Like purple lips you'd think don't suit many people but everyone I've seen this on it looks amazing on them. Any skin tone, any kind of lip shape, it just looks amazing. The formula of this I think is comparable if not slightly better than the Lime Crime Velveteens which is great because Lime Crime doesn't sell to Australia or New Zealand or the UK anymore unless you buy directly from them and it just gets ridiculously expensive and this stuff works out a hell of a lot cheaper. You get more product in a tube and also I personally love Jeffree Star so I will definitely support his company and I can't wait for his new shades to come out next month. In the other category is a product that I think you've heard everyone talk about. Um, I personally didn't pay much attention to it because I already had my own little set brow routine but I bought the product just to try it out and I really love it. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, dip brow pomade and I got this in the color ebony which is I thought was the darkest shade but apparently there's another one called granite which is a stark black so I think I'll be going back and getting that one next time but I love this stuff. It does dry up quite quickly inside the tub but this stuff will not move once it's on your face, which I absolutely love. I don't really have much of a natural brow, but I've been using this for a good two months, if not slightly more, and I love the absolute hell out of this stuff. Definitely part of my everyday brow routine, hands down. Love this stuff, I will never go back. In the lashes category, I've been loving two particular products. I'm mentioning both of them though, because I love the way that they look together. So the first one is the Model Rock Lashes in the Cha Cha, and these are a half kind of lash. I am wearing them on my eyes today but not the second pair. Um, love these lashes. I bought heaps and heaps and heaps of these when they went on to clearance sales so I don't know if they make them anymore but it's really easy to find half lashes that look pretty natural. The second pair of lashes that I've been wearing with those ones, these are a pair of under lashes and these are the Darling under lashes. Again, very natural looking under lashes and I think that they both complement each other with the way that they kind of have like a cat eye flare at either end of both of them. In the clothing category, I have been loving the Black Milk One Big Top shirt thingo. I did actually mention this in my last collective haul video. I'm actually trying it on within that video so if you want to see what it looks like. It's just been so hot and humid lately, two things that I just don't do well in that I can't really wear many clothes. So this thing has been pretty amazing. I love just pairing these with a pair of shorts or something like that. I can wear these with leggings, but it's just too hot to do that right now. Um, I will be doing that in the future, but yeah, I just put a pair of shorts underneath it and it just looks like a really oversized top. I love how it drapes over the shoulder and yeah, I think it complements everyone that I've seen it on. In the shoes category, I'm gonna mention two pairs of shoes. The first one are the Demonia Keras and I recently unboxed these and you know I bought them specifically for a summer shoe so I'm definitely going to be loving these. But the shoes that I've been wearing the absolute most and I am so incredibly in love with are the Brooks Glycerin sneakers. I bought these a few months ago, maybe like two months ago because I hadn't bought new runners for like two years. and. My old ones had, I had patched them up so many times. It's also the first pair of shoes I've actually bought in women's sizes. So this is a size six women's and I generally buy a four and a half in kids because they are literally the same size. But the kids range this year just wasn't that nice. 
um, they were all pink and all that kind of stuff. I just wanted a simple sneaker. So I got this and you know, it's got teal on it and teal's my favorite color besides black. I would recommend those sneakers to anyone who has high arches on their feet and have knee problems because the cushioning inside those are just amazing, absolutely amazing. The best runners that I have ever worn. Now onto my favorite song. Well, my favorite song and favorite artist, are, they kind of go hand in hand this month. And my favorite song has been Is It You by Vam Scout, and it's a German electro artist. And generally, I'm not really that into electro music, but I was watching one of Saikara's videos um, here on YouTube, and a song called Funeral Diner came on, and I actually kind of liked it. So I looked up the artist and listened to a few of his tracks, and I actually kind of fell in love with it. So I have been listening to his stuff quite a bit lately, um, but particularly the song Is It You I Love. If you look it up on YouTube, you can find it accompanied with a Tim Burton short film called Vincent. Um, just the song and the short film put together, it is just amazing. And lastly, my favorite movie of the month has been Predestination. Now, I went into this not actually wanting to watch it. Um, my partner wanted to watch it and I just wasn't that interested. Kind of sat there on my phone for a little while and then I kind of got into it. I started, I continued watching it because I was wondering what the hell was going on and you know how it was going to end and all that stuff. It ended up being quite a big twist of an ending. But yeah, the movie is called Predestination and it is a great movie. It has Ethan Hawke in it. I love Ethan Hawke. So those are my recent favorites. I'm sorry that I still sound a little bit sick. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I'd love to be here for every single video. Like this video if you liked my favorites. Comment down below what your favorites of the month were and I hope you all have a fantabulous day.